Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. You have four melee champions. Well, Lissandra's not melee, but she's going to be all stacked up, right? The counter engage can be so powerful from the cannon. If you could actually find that big Amumu ult, the cannon ult coming on top, the AoE from the victor, the counter engage. Yeah, yeah, you, you just fall way too far behind. But we also see on the opposite side of the map, CFO. Looks like they're getting a dragon, maybe not uncontested as RNG's coming in. Oh, look at the engage! They've caught Xiaohu, but at what cost? Ming steps forward, Xiaohu's about to get dropped! First blood to Gemini! Wei and Gar is stepping forward! White blue guns chirping down and burning the flying oysters! One, two, a third is on the way! RNG looking for the fourth! Bandage toss! From the stolen Amumu and Shun's forced to flash. RNG, they have the numbers. Just still oh, chasing oh, Shun down. Ming able to secure the kill and even breathe, getting involved. RNG bringing everyone to this fight. Get to it first. You got to get through. Here's Nora, problem number two. Diego rests. Uh, flash is available to him. Slicing Maelstrom as well. Jumped on, caught out, and goodbye, buddy. Get some sleep. And for RNG, right, they saw, hey, CFO have control. In the middle combat. of the top lane, but it's just a Felios that they need to be careful of. As Shahu takes a chunk, Chaos Storm is down! Tick, tick, Laser. tick, tick! Boom! Mission solo kill, Shahu! Mission showing why he's oh, been oh. Famalai stepping forward, Koala's got chunked out, Mission's going low, no flash available to him! And Gala picks up the sick, the oh, pin what? against the wall! Gemini is going to be able to use the Keeper's Verdict, it misses, it whiffs! Gala sidesteps and wants. Yeah, Wei able to get involved here, and also gets locked down. It's Gala who actually comes in clutch as Wei, Yeah, we can't watch Mission. The, we can't watch the replay! Mission is getting caught out, pulled back, punched in the face! And it's Ming that secures the second of the game for himself. Seven kills to RNG. The soul is stolen. Much lower than were you another Mythic and another Rune setup. But CFO looking to challenge here at the Dragon. Yeah, I mean, they want to fight. Teleport's available. Oh, 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 oh. It's not, though. Oh, the engage. Ming is burning down low. The bomb will pop him. Rocket jump forward. The flying oysters scoop up together and farm all. As I, I love that you highlight it and then even more that the observers show it. Koala, however, steps forward a little bit into the darkness. Oh, those are curse of the sand mummy, the showstopper into the gravity field. It does not matter. The damage is so incredibly high. Ming, are you kidding me? Slamming four members together, and RNG want even more. Rest coming here to defend, but RNG are crushing it on the back of their support. The coordination in that play was just absolutely perfect. Able to take a mid lane turn off of that rest. Oh, the Ray of Frost comes out, Shahu, one more shot. Won't have the damage. I like the column and uh, he's going to be tough to take down. <laughs> yeah, and especially as you can see on the minimap, he's actually kind of posturing around top side. Looks like RNG potentially wanting to thread up towards top lane with threat of an engage while RNG, again, kind of play two sides of the map at once. You have Xiaohun Wei playing off to one side while Ming being this in-between man playing with Breathe and Gala to make sure CFO can't set any plays up. Now we are moving into towards that 20-minute uh, mark, playing for the Mountain Soul. And RNG have ballooned the gold lead to nearly 3,000. Shun has been able to pop down the second tower in favor of the Flying Oyster. This will unlock, however, what looks to be an uncontested Drake, the second of the game. For Flying Oysters, they've shown that they can win some of those team fights. But ultimately, RNG were a little bit distracted by Dragon earlier, got somewhat surprised. Outside of that, it has been RNG favorite, so we're looking again more. We need to see Rest get involved. He hasn't necessarily joined. Going. I'd like to see them set up Vision on one side, you know, and then try to push up on that side with multiple members, try to get a crash on a tier two, you know, extend their gold advantage through He's that. looking for a potential angle to threaten them back. Oh. And I feel like CFO, though, might need to find an angle themselves because Breed's pushing in mid. How? How? Breed's pushing in mid right now, but with Mission back, they weren't able to force the fight. 5v4 for the side of CFO, you have to no, over 4, 5v5. Kennen has not really been involved in any sort of team play yet this game, and Mission in trouble again. He's lost his oh. push. Gravity field is dropped. Shahu's arrived. Buster shot by his time, but Ming and the RNG Dynasty are not done. There's one back from Shun. Rest will get popped. That slicing maelstrom cut through nothing. And four members of RNG alive. And it all comes from Wei and Ming setting it all up as a jungle support duo. Now they're going to keep up full control of the bot side jungle. And this mid lane tier. Two, it's gonna be gone.
RNG looking incredible in this one. Giving not much room for him. Even hitting on the rest build quite a bit, Azale. We saw not really a whole ton of damage able to come out from that cannon. Oh, Ming, maybe Ooh. looking for it again. Oh, once he hits Koala, steps forward, look at that shield. Ming stays alive. Moonlight Vigil plus the damage from Breathe is enough to shut down Koala. Shao TP. Packing. There's the engage from White Gravity Field. Manages to find a stun, but Gemini's forced to flash and run for his life. Oh. The flamethrower is burning. Shao Ho's Ring of Frost sets up one, and Breathe runs down another. 16 kills to five. An RNG peel into the jungle. Ming baiting Koala into the play. They're able to find the engage. Now this should be Baron for RNG. I love the setup. Getting Vision down first. They're even going to send Xiaohu to keep pushing in topside because they know CFO have no way to answer this play. Absolutely nothing they can do about it. Red, white guns as well for Gala. So it's going to go down so incredibly fast. Rest going to try to take a dragon back, but Kenan will do this so slowly uh, that I, I don't even know if they'll be able to secure it. With Shun down there, they should be able to, and they will at least get a bounty off of that, but it's feeling like too little. It's feeling like... Keep it a good attitude about you it. You have to. Having a laugh. Yeah, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And that's speaking from experience here, Trevor. <laughs> so, like, the whole, but they do want to win the game on their terms. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I talk about it a lot with uh, waiting to lose versus actually playing yes. to win, right? And CFO are definitely here playing to win, trying to find these fights, because if you sit back, RNG to erase some RNG backline, but it's not the uh, direction that he did choose, and RNG are pressing. Oh. And I even just love the way RNG are playing it out since Kennen hasn't been able to get involved, right? We see them kind of ping-ponging between waves, breathe, walk mid, pushes it in, walk spot, and just pulling the members of CFO around their base. Lyric, is this the RNG you were anticipating? They're pushing into the base. After the look and play-ins, there were some question marks. There were some flaming hot takes made. They took down RNG two days ago. They're on the verge of sopping the, the flying oysters. And they've already broken into the middle and the bottom lane. Inhibitors are falling in RNG currently. Look unstoppable this game. Yeah, RNG, again, they've just looked so good coming into uh, groups. They've retooled, they're playing more aggressive, they look incredibly confident, and they're um, sneaking. Ultimately, though, with two lanes of supers, a minute and 40 until that mountain uh -oh. solar. Now rest, rest. Don't get put to sleep, my friend. You've been jumped on by way of the glacial path into the Ring of Frost. That slicing Maelstrom does not to stop Royal. And CFO, I mean, they can't even leave their bases. RNG control absolutely everything. And now with one member down, it looks like they have the confidence to push into the base and try and finish this game off. Oh, how is this gonna end? Mission stepping back. Steadfast presence would delay any further engage, but Ming's the man that started it all and oftentimes ended every skirmish. Showstopper's available to him. He's looking for a ride to go forward. Also watch Koala's Amumu on the right-hand side, sitting next to that Nexus turret. RNG, they're ushering the minions forward. The top wave is about to fall. And Breathe has already knocked down the final inhibitor tower there. You know, they are moving up towards that last inhibitor. Shun is pushed out. Rocket jumps on cooldown. That's not available. Flash and cleanses. He's gonna step forward. That's the engage. Koala goes for it. Oh, Shao Ho goes the sad mummy, it doesn't matter. Shun, however, has taken down Ming. The Chaos Storm is burning. Here comes Rest. No Milstrom available to him, but... Oh, oh Koala does what? What? Flash Gale Force into four, and the Flying Oysters are running for their lives. Koala with another massive play, and now Shao Ho back in the fight to follow up. CFO are falling one by one. Koala grabs the win on the front foot as the engage ADC 4012 Royal never give up will take down the flying oysters and listen to the fans in the crowd that was an entertaining game and one in which RNG demonstrated their fighting prowess and I'm just so